What's up, Future Fighters? Zach Zach here. We got a new deck profile for you guys. This deck profile is featuring Dragon World. Specifically, we're finally, finally, finally doing a deck profile on Thunder Empire. So for this one, the buddy is Resurrected Arc. Is this Arc? I think it's this. Arc Dragon Bats. This is a trial deck card. Uh, Seven two four uh, size two monster. Call cost one gauge. During your turn, this card on your field cannot be destroyed. So that seems to be the new generic Bats ability. At the beginning of your attack phase, if you have an item equipped, this card gets double attack. Then if you have four life or less, destroy a monster on your opponent's field. So uh, his ability is pretty cool if you have an item. Um, this guy will probably quickly be out as the buddy, uh, given that I get a fourth and fifth copy of Globes, or if I actually feel like trying to get a buddy rare version of the other best we'll talk about. But for now, he's a good substitute. Um, if you do have your item equipped from the secret pack, the item's not going anywhere, so it almost always has at least his double attack. But without the item, this card kind of just becomes a solo attack, which makes him kind of bad. The destruction, when you do have an item, is pretty good, so he's an okay card. Um, really the only card that I had a fifth copy of that I was playing, so... For now, he's the buddy. So first up is the buddy. Next is the actual really, really good bats. Demon Lord Dragon Bats. Uh, size 2 monster. Uh, 724. A call cost 1 gauge. During your turn, this card on your field cannot be destroyed. At the beginning of your attack phase, for this turn, this card gets double attack. If you have 4 life or less for this turn, this card gets plus 3000 power and triple attack instead. So he has a double attack without your item, so already very good. Um, still has the cannot be destroyed part, still very good. And if you happen to be at 4 life or less, yeah, it's triple attack. With a 2 crit is pretty scary. Um, I do like this bats a lot. Um, like I said, if you were trying to build this deck, maybe try going after the Buddy Rare ver version of this, or wait for... I think there's a prettier Buddy Rare coming out in a future set. So maybe hold on for that. Next, we're playing three copies of a card that should arguably be a four of... Not even arguably. Probably very, 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 very should be a, a four of, because it's a very good card. Misfiring Demon Globes. Globes? Uh, size 1 monster. 3 one, 1 Split the reward. When another Thunder Empire monster enters your field, put the top card of your deck into your gauge and draw a card. This ability name only activates once per turn. When this card attacks, for this turn, a card on your field gets plus 1 critical. So yes, that means like you're double or triple attacking bats. Attack with this first, give bats an extra crit. He's a 3 crit, double or triple attacker. Or, worst comes to worst, you can give it to your weapon. Still very good. Um, this is excellent for the gauge excel and the draw. Uh, it's a very good card in general. <coughs> That's why this card should be a 4 of my deck as soon as I get the 4. Um, it would be an easy target to buddy, maybe, but I assume they'll probably be size zeros coming out for Thunder Empire eventually since they're releasing so many size 3s. So for now it's at 3. Um, next we play four, uh, 3 copies of a double circle of shock. It's another Thunder Empire Dragon. He's a 514 size 1 monster. Call cost 1 gauge. He cannot attack the left or right, but he has double attack. Um, so, a lot of... The, the point of this deck is to get your, to set up so you have the 3 attacks for your impact. That's we're play, playing 8 copies of Bats and uh, 3 copies of this double attacker. We're also playing some Zeros as well. Um, I, do, I really do like this card. If you have your weapon, your weapon will give plus power to all of your Thunder Empire monsters, so it becomes like a, a 7,000 attack power monster that can swing down the center, so it's very good. And with, with Globes again, he can get the additional crit to be 2 crit double attack. So, I like it a lot. The 1 gauge <coughs> can be kind of annoying in the beginning, but as the, this deck gets going, I sometimes get a lot of gauge. And to help with the early gauge, we have Another size 1 monster, Raid Officer Delta. A uh, size 1 Thunder Empire monster. 6 one, 1. When this card attacks, if you have another Thunder Empire on your field, put the top card of your deck into your gauge. Um, three copies. Uh, I like him. He has very good clearing power. The critical is something to be desired, but you really only need to get to your opponent to 5 or less, so. Whatever. Um, 6 or 8 with your weapon. Very, very good. The gauge to ensure that you have the 3 gauge needed for your impact. This is the reason why he's in this deck right now. Alright, next we go on to two copies of Replenisher Pentar. Size 1, 
three, two, one. When this card enters the field, if you have a Thunder Empire item equipped, to draw a card. I thought I'd like this card more. It's still very good. Um, a two crit monster that lets you draw an extra card. If you have globes on the field, you'll basically gauge and draw, and then draw, or however you decide to do the order. Um, very nice. Um, I only run six weapons, so there are plenty of times already with this deck that I've played this. Oh, I've had them in my hand with no items. I don't know if that's just bad luck, but it's, it's the, really the reason why I'm comfortable at leaving a set as a two of right now. The two critical, obviously, pretty nice considering that all the other size ones that we've gone over so far have been one critical. But And then we play Chibi Panda. Well, I can't wait for the the St. Holy Sword Dragon version of this card to actually come out, because he'd probably be busted, I imagine. A uh, size 1, 4,000 attack, 2 critical, 1 defense. If you have a Thunder Empire item equipped, he has move. Um, 2 copies. I'm just rounding out 1s right here. Um, it's either Delta or Chibi Panda that gets removed when I get more globs, globes, however we're deciding to say that. Um, but I do just like this card. I called him my avatar, mostly because even at, like, a 2 of them, he's almost always in my opening hand, so... And for the last of the monsters is the only monster in this deck so far that is a non-Thunder Empire monster. This is a set one, I believe. No, not even. No, this is old. No, it just felt like set one. BT-05 card. It's a rare. You can see you have the gold letters still for the rare. Size zero monster. 411. This card is called Missile Bunker Dragon. And he's got the ability Missile Launch. At the end of the battle of this card, Put this card on the bottom of your deck, and put the top card of your deck in your gauge. You just got Penetrate for one. Uh, I play three copies, surprisingly, maybe not unsurprisingly because I like playing it, that one Penetrate is very helpful, since most cases you might use two attacks to clear the center, but that if you get the one extra Penetrate in, plus the double attack from like a Bats, which another four critical, that's putting your opponent down to five range maybe. Um, the one extra gauge again is also very nice if you're not drawing into the bats exploit for the the finish the the last amount of gauge that you need. Um, I've seen people play boomerang dragon. Um, it probably makes a little bit more sense to play boomerang dragon if you think a game's not going to end right away. Um, boomerang dragon is good. He's a one crit and he bounces back to your hand instead of just going away. But the the benefit of this card is ensuring that you have gauge to play <clears throat> your impact and your arc dragon shields. Easily. Alright, for spells. <clears throat> we go to four copies of Blue Dragon Shield. Old school shield, but though, for those who don't know, you may only cast this card during attack on your opponent's turn, and if you do not have a monster in the center, nullify the attack, top card of your deck in your gauge. So easily a four of them. <clears throat> it's protection and gauge excel for the deck. This has been a four of in Dragon World since forever. Um, next we have four copies of a new shield for Thunder Empire, Arc Dragon Shield. Let me get that picture. See bats on the shield. You may only cast this card during the attack on your opponent's turn if you do not have a monster in the center and you have a Thunder Empire on your field, very important. Cast costs one gauge, nullify the attack and draw a card. Um, I really like this card because it helps draw onto pieces, but usually it helps draw onto other shields. So like I'll play this shield first in hopes that I'll draw the other shield. That, that way I don't lose or something, and it has happened an okay amount of times. It's stupid when it happens. I wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of it, but I have been dealing, that out, dealing it out with that issue. Then we play three copies of Green Dragon Shield. A ridiculously old school card, but again, you can only cast if you do not... During an attack on your opponent's turn, and you do not have a monster in the center. Nullify the attack, gain a life. So only three of, um, to me, the... The Gage Excel is priority number one to ensure you can play everything. Then the draw cards thing is helps you draw into the rest of your deck. So the remainder of the shields that I generally like to play in Dragon World are now Green Dragon Shields. Um, for me, 11 is the right spot, for me at least, for shields. That's how I ended up figuring out with uh, Sun Dragons. Is I started with like 9 or 10, and I dialed it back, and I dialed it forward, and I thought I liked it a lot more when I had more shields. So. We're sticking with the 11 ratio for shields <clears throat> in Thunder Empire for now. Next is one of the, probably the best cards that I've seen in Dragon World in a long time, if you're not counting the impact. So four copies of a card called Bats X Link. 
You only cast this card if cards on your uh, if your cards have attacked three or more times during this turn. Link attacks count as one attack. Counter. Look at three cards from the top of your deck. Put up to one among them into your hand and put the rest into the gauge. And you gain a life. You only cast Bax X links once per turn. So obviously, first thing to note: not restricted to Thunder Empire. It's only the only restriction is that you attack three different times during your turn. So. You attack twice, and then let's say your impact monster, that third attack with your impact monster is a third attack. Very nice. Um, you get to look at the top three cards of your deck. So if you already had one gauge and you, one of those three cards happened to be your impact, which only costs three gauge, you put the impact into your hand, put the other two into the gauge, you now have three gauge to cast your impact. Um, very good card. Awesome gauge excel. It gains you... Uh, most of the time I end up forgetting about the gain life part, even though that's so clutch as well. Um, this card is amazing. Um, it's no wonder this is a card probably going for like 15 to 20 dollars right now. Since it really goes in almost every Dragon World deck. Then we play two copies <clears throat> of a dual world card. Dragon Spell Hiding Bomber. You only cast this, this card during your opponent's turn, so don't let people forget that part. Cast cost. Pay one gauge. Return a monster with 5,000 or less defense to its owner's hand or destroy it. So this is obviously good for destroying your opponent's monsters or bouncing your own back, mainly. Um, this is a good way to protect your bats, let's say. If you have another in your hand and, you, and they're going after your bats, this is a good way to bounce the bats back to your hand, since bats only has 4,000 defense, which falls under the category for this spell. It's also very good in just disrupting people's plays, like, let's say, a Star Dragon World that's not playing a jack. They can get around this. It's pretty good for interrupt, interrupting that as well. Um, obviously, it doesn't work too well against the other bats, but it's still a pretty versatile card in being able to destroy your bounce cards. Now, for weapons, we play four copies of Art Dragon Sword. This was the secret pack sword that I keep talking about for when I was talking about the monsters. It's got 6,000 attack power and two critical. Equip cost is just one gauge. So under costed, I feel like. This card on your field cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects can still be bounced. All Thunder Empire monsters on your field get plus 2,000 power, so that means all of your guys are swinging for very respectable numbers, especially in the deck where I had a lot of monsters sitting at 6 and 5 attack power by themselves, and bats who will now be swinging for 9, let alone another plus 3 on top of that, if you're at 4 or less. Um, very good card. You all, This is the card you get play at 4 of. Um, unless there's another card that comes out in the future that's basically the same ability, but it's pro they'll probably add like a life cost and it gains double attack for some condition, which would also probably be busted, but fit the archetype. You play this card. You play this set of four. Um, for the last of the weapons, we play two copies of Arc Dragon Sword Cane. So you can kind of see it's a cane with the blade on the inside there. Um, an item, a 6,000 attack power with two critical, a quick cost, one gauge, and one life. When this card attacks, you can choose and use one of the following two abilities gain a life. Or, choose a size one or less monster in your opponent's field and pay a life. If you do, you destroy that card. Um, this, I like this card. It's a Thunder Empire attribute, which helps for your Arc Dragon Shields. Same as the Arc Dragon Sword. Um, generally, I use it for the life gain, but I have, I have used it success successfully to blow up like the size zeros in Prism Dragons, let's say. You, you can go after like the candy crystal dragon on the side, and then use the ability at the same time to pay a life and destroy it so you outright just kill it with one attack. It's pretty handy. Um, I am tempted to play a third copy of a weapon for cards like the Buddy Bats and Pentar. Um, <clears throat> I will be planning on trying out the double attacking sword in the future just because you have an item that can't be, that generally can't be rested as easily as some of your monsters can be that can help proc your impact, number of attacks required. <clears throat> I can't remember what the, it's like an arc dragon sword or something. It looks like the twin blades from the original sets. And then lastly, for the last card of the deck, we play four copies of the impact Thunder Lance X Tempest Bust, uh, yeah, Buster. Secret pack art. You know, I cast this card if your opponent's life is five or less, your cards have attacked three times or more during this turn, and neither you nor your opponent has a monster in the center. <clears throat> Again, reminding you about link attacks being one attack. 
Cast cost. Pay 3 gauge, deal 5 damage to your opponent. This card cannot be nullified, the damage cannot be reduced. If your opponent's life would become 0 by this card, it cannot be changed by your opponent's cards. In the parentheses, unrevivable. So, yes, even though Dragon Dry, no try, yeah, Dry, came out in this set to, you know, suddenly resurrect the opponent to 5 life, if they would go to zero, this impact puts a stop to it. Something that I had forgotten in my locals recently, but we'll ignore that for now. But it's a very powerful card. I play it as a four of, mostly because this deck is capable, if, you're goose, if you go second, it is capable of getting your opponent down to five very quickly. And with like the Bats X Link and the number of cards we have for Gage Excel, you just kind of swing for five with three attacks, clear the center in addition to that and then drop your impact for game right away. So we want to play four copies so that we can try and open it. If we can't open it, we have four copies of Vax X Link, which will help you try and draw into it. And if we don't even, if we can't even do that with all of that, we have a card like Misfiring Demon Globes, Globes that will allow you to gauge and draw. So when you play your other monsters that you were going to play anyway, you get to gauge and draw an additional card to maybe again try and draw into your impact. So guys, that's my deck profile for Thunder Empire. I do have a preview of what I was using for a sideboard recently, if you guys are interested. Um, first cards in the sideboard, I was playing two copies of Sharpness Field, um, just to be leery of monsters that bounce. Since bats cannot be destroyed, he can still be bounced by like the Magic World Shadow Shades and other wizardry, wizardly realm. So it would be very convenient to at least have that card on the side to stop that. Um, I play three copies of Remove. Well, I guess I should tell you what this does. The set spell for Sharpness Field. All monsters on your opponent's field get plus... You and your opponent's field get plus one thousand attack. All monsters on you and your opponent's field cannot be returned to hand. So it prevents bouncing. Also prevents you from bouncing their, or your, their monsters or your own monsters with your hiding bombers as well. So keep that in mind. <coughs> we play three copies of Remove. <coughs> Cast cost one gauge, put up to two souls from a card in your field into the drop zone. Um, <clears throat> a little size 3 8, even though it's not really like super relevant because you know a lot of times bats can't be counterattacked, and if you have the right weapon, he's going to be swinging over them by himself anyway. But I decided to just put it in there for now, just as an idea to keep in the back of my mind. Another hiding bomber. A card that I think is actually really bad, but I still would think it would be funny to work and see if it worked. There's two copies of Military Tactics, two-stage plan. Only cast this at the end of the battle to you that your attack was nullified and you have five or less life. You get to restand your guy to try and get an additional attack. Um, I tried it. It's not really as successful as I'd like it to be. And two copies of a very old impact, Maximum Skill Breaking Flames. Cast cost 3 gauge. You may only cast this card if your life is 5 or less. You have no monster in the center and your opponent has a monster in the center. Put the monster from your opponent's center to the left or right and deal 3 damage to your opponent. It's kind of a, F, a big middle finger to size 3 decks even though you very likely might clear through them anyway. Still, it's kind of funny to be able to just, if you have the gauge, like pay 3, move their monster out of the center, then pay 3 to deal another 5. Dreams, right? This is what dreams are made of. Anyway, guys, this is the deck profile for my Thunder Empire as it is currently. Some other ideas that I've seen on the group from, like, Mario was that uh, people are running Bao Soleil. Attack one or two Bao Soleil in the deck, which is actually a very good idea. Since mid to late game, if I somehow haven't drawn impacts or we're both kind of an impasse, I'll have an excess of gauge and a Bao Soleil will, again... Reduce damage by one if he has a soul, and he also gets an additional critical, plus the added ability of being able to counter speed, use a gauge to destroy monsters in the center. Pretty good. He's not going to reap the benefits of the weapons, but he'll still have double attack on him by itself, so him plus a weapon and the zeros that we're playing currently will still hopefully allow you to proc the three different attacks needed for your impact. But, so, that's the profile, you guys. I know you guys have been asking for this, and I've been a little bit slow in getting it to you guys. At first, it was me needing to get the cards, like the secret packs, mostly. And then, secondly, I wanted to play it at Locals a little bit. And I have now, and it's a fun deck. It's pretty one-dimensional. I mean, when you look at this, it's really 
impact out. You're, you're just trying to get the impact out, and Bats is a very good uh, card to allow you to do so because he can't be destroyed, but he can't be rested by things like Snake Gaze and that Ancient World Trial Deck card that allows you to pay a life and a gauge to rest the monster on your field, which are pretty, pretty brutal blows to this deck if they can stop like the monsters that are double attacking or like try and lock your center down so if you have your missile bunker they rest it and all of a sudden you know you don't have the open center you need it anymore so well um leave some comments down below guys if you guys have any opinions on this deck i can't wait for more support i believe there was like an orange colored buddy rare coming out for this which made me excited since obviously by my play mat i do like the color orange quite a lot but uh, like, comment, subscribe, um, follow me on Facebook, facebook.com slash zackzag. So if you guys would like to talk, get opinions about things, um, let me know on Facebook. I'm pretty quick to respond as the people who have reached me on Facebook come to realize. Anyways, guys, as always, thanks for watching.